morning, good afternoon, good evening, buen dia, buen tarde, buen noche, whenever you are watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the microphone. Clearly we're on the side of our house and our air conditioners are going like crazy right now. So I got to bring in the microphone a little bit. So we'll get rid of this pretty soon, but bear with me. What we're doing today is we are going to be pruning our red Zinvendels. This is June, 2022. I've got a video, I'll leave that right there. And uh, we sh showed you how we pruned these grapevines in the dormant period, which is January, February for us. And these are the varieties that we're talking about. We've got 10 grapevines back here in our backyard vineyard, eight different varieties of grapes. If that interests you, please subscribe. We do appreciate that. Follow us. This is a growing channel and we would love to have you as a subscriber. But today we're going to be harvesting the Zinvendels and we've also got some Thompson seedless. Now this particular variety is a summer fruiting variety and it has really taken off this year. This is the fifth, fifth year in the ground and this is the probably third significant harvest and we are super excited about that. Problem is, we've got some problems. Houston, we've got a problem. Is the sun, the wind, the dryness, the dry, dryness of our climate, the birds, the ants, and I'm running out of fingers. And one more thing are the leaf hoppers. And you can see some of the damage here and here, uh, the leaf hopper damage. What they're doing is these little tiny grasshoppers. In fact, I'll leave a video right there as well of how we treated these grapevines initially when they first started popping out. We started getting leaf hoppers all over the place. And we'll show you in that video of how we got rid of the, the leaf hoppers, but guess what? They're back. This is probably three months later. They're finally returning. They're starting to just suck out all the life out of all of our leaves. So we sprayed them, uh, what is it, about three days ago. So we let the neem oil do its job. Now we're ready to harvest. What else? So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be pruning the grapes. We're gonna be using our pruners. This is a titanium pruner. We've already cleaned them. We used uh, rubbing alcohol on the blade and we got them nice and disinfected. And then my lovely wife, Sadie, she's got some fancy buckets. We got three of them. I don't know if that's gonna be enough honestly, but we're going to give it a go. Um, one main reason why we're going to be pruning them, not all of them, is because the birds. They left some droppings around here and they're purple, so we know that they're eating the grapes. So we definitely want to get them pruned off. Now, it's going to be a lot of grapes and they are organic, so they don't have a long shelf life, but what we're going to be doing is freezing some and we'll show you that shortly and how we do that. But let's get to the pruning, all right? All right, so like I said in the beginning of this video, sorry about all the buzzing sound in the background. Hopefully you can hear me. Look at these clusters, aren't they just beautiful? Holy cow. So this this particular cluster down in here, the uh, the birds have definitely got, got these, so we want to remove these. Looks like there's only a couple left there. I'm gonna eat them. Mmm. Bam, I'm telling you. Grow your grapes, prune them in the winter time, and you're gonna get a bountiful harvest when they're mature. I can't wait. They're just good right off the vine. I'm telling you, mental health, this is healthy for your mind. Gardening, growing your own fruit and vegetables. We're going to be putting up a video shortly on gardening, mental health, on how important it is to get your mind off the life of the world and get your mind focused on one thing. And that one thing is very important. Look at this thing. This is very satisfying, I'm telling you. It's going to clear your mind out and give you satisfaction in your life. We all need that. We all have stress in our life. But this, this reduces stress. This is very satisfying. Grapes, they don't talk back. They just give you pleasure. Now you can see in this spot where the birds are really, really 
been enjoying our grapes. I'm not, I'm not afraid of sharing our grapes, but we definitely want to give them to somebody that's going to appreciate them. I don't think the birds are like, oh my goodness, this is the best thing on earth. I want to give these to somebody who really appreciates them, like my daughter. Holy cow, look at this cluster back here. How are we gonna get this thing out? It is all kinds of tangled up. Wow. I think that's the stem right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Look how dense that is. That is gorgeous. I don't care who you are. These are delicious. Oh, like little balls of sugar. That's Debbie. She's in pretty much all of our videos. Anyhow, I digress. So, I didn't pull all the grapes. we still got some that are still green. We've got still a ton of clusters. In fact, there's some over by the neighbors. And uh, yeah, so not all the grapes have ripened. There's some more clusters that are just getting going. Um, and then even some more down here. And then some other clusters. Those aren't quite fully green yet. They're still getting all their sugars. In fact, these, these bottom ones look really good. Let me try that. Oh yeah, I just can't resist it. But you can see still, we've got quite a few clusters that are still getting ready to ripen. So we're gonna leave those. Well, I could probably pull that one. But we're gonna let them ripen up and get all sweet and stuff. And you can see, and you can see down here, we got three, I don't know, half gallon buckets, a couple gallons worth. I mean, they're just overflowing, oops. They're just overflowing with grapes. Man, so happy. I'll show you the rest of our grape varieties that we've got back here. This is our red, this is one of the red flame grapes. We've got two of them. This is uh, the newest addition to our family. This one was planted in the springtime. And this is a Thompson seed list. Both this variety and this variety are the same. We got them in the same year. We planted about two years ago. And look at that. They're already starting to produce for us. This was the first harvest of these grapevines. This one didn't produce anything yet, but this one did, clearly. And they are delicious. Man, it was Thompson Seedless. Same, same grape variety you get at the grocery store. Down here is Interlaken Grape. In fact, you can see that we got the leafhopper damage as well. We've already sprayed these, and we're looking for a good, fast recovery. That's the Interlaken Grape. Then of course the red Zinvendels. And then here's the other red flame grape. This is actually a mother plant of what we're gonna be propagating right down, in, right down in that little pot down there are prunings from when this was dormant in the winter time. We're gonna be propagating them because we love them so much. And then this is our Princess Crimson grape right here. This is the first year in the ground. She's doing really good. She's not minding that summer heat. And then this is the Summer Royale grape, and it is doing really good. This is those black grapes that you find at the grocery store. These are the Summer Royale grapes, and they're doing pretty good here in the summer. And then this is another Cabernet. This is uh, brand new to our, vet, to our vineyard. We planted this here in the summertime. This is a Cabernet. And then our Merlot. This is our Merlot grape. And it is doing very well too. It did not get hit by the leaf hoppers, but we sprayed them anyways, just in case. In fact, this one did have some 
caterpillar damage and looks like it's bouncing back it's got some new growth on there caterpillars just started munching away on those in fact these these are store-bought and these came with grapes on them so we do know that they do produce grapes so this is the cabernet so we've also got some blackberries we are we are growing quite a bit of boysenberries back here in between all the grapes so if that's something that interests your mind please consider subscribing we've got 10 vines eight different varieties growing in a desert climate there's our red zinvendel grape harvest 2022 please give that a nice thumbs up we do appreciate that leave your comments questions concerns down at the bottom consider subscribing we would love to have you as a subscriber and if you're feeling frisky hit that bell icon that way you'll be notified every time we post these videos of our backyard orchard and vineyard so for my family to yours thanks for watching